Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and I'm in Luminar 4, part of my series on how to use this software. Today we're going to be looking at Instant Looks. Hey YouTubers, before I start this video, I just want to tell you that I am a Luminar partner. So if you do want to buy this software, you can click my affiliate link in the description and also use the discount code, which is also supplied in the subscription. It'll get you $10 off in the US, $15 Canadian. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Let's get to the video. So, hey, YouTubers, I'm going to really go quick, just give you a little tour of how Instant Looks works using the beautiful Catherine. This is a Photoshop I did almost like two years ago, but I mean, the images, the, the images are just so nice. But there's a little tip I want to tell you guys before you start working with Instant Looks. It's really, really important to know. And it's just an organizational thing. The actual little tip I want to tell you guys is that there are quite a few Instant Looks inside of Luminar. Now, it is not in your interest to be browsing all the looks. If you're going to go into instant looks, you obviously want the software to think for you. Yes, it does happen that you want the software to think for you. Whenever you're doing presets, that's the decision you have made. You want the software to do what it has to do. Therefore, you don't want to be putting in looks that are assigned to landscape or assigned to street photography on your shot for portraits. This is the tip. Make sure you go down to the bottom left of your interface. By the way, if you're not in this interface, let's say you're in the normal interface like this, and you want to go into the looks interface, you click over top left here and you go looks and you'll have your preset looks at the bottom. So back to my point, you go to the bottom left of your looks. You will see a little button here, Luminar looks. Make sure you click on the drop up because it's, it's not drop down. It's like drop up menu and go f get the classification of look that you're looking for. So they have essential street, landscape, portrait, lifestyle, dramatic. OK, so, for example, you're not going to put landscape. You can see the, all the there's not one that looks good here. Not one. Make sure you put the classification at portrait like this. The new looks will load and you will have looks that are optimized for portraits. Now, second tip I wanted to show you guys is that after this, you have made the decision to just let the software work. So let's just pick a look really quick. Black and white matte portrait. Let's click on that. You get a portrait of what you see now. This is quite intense. It's a very intense look. You see the eyes are great there and it really makes them pop and gives you a really dramatic black and white look. Remember that you can always scale down that look and bring it down to a level that's less work. So the black and white will mix with color and you can play with that and you can get some really cool things going on. What's also fun is that Luminar also allows you the capacity to go and still adjust certain things within your preset look. So in this case, they allow you to go into details enhancers and do some small adjustments. It's always good to know. But so you can scale down your look and make sure you're in the classification of look you want. So here we go. Female portrait right here. Uh, really nice because it plays with the skin tones here. Let's see what they allow you to work with. They allow you to play with your color and they allow you to play with your vignette. Now, you have a choice. You can pull down your slider to give that look a bit less and mix with the original photo. Or you can go uh, and just leave it at full, wherever you want. You can really scale down and have fun. In your colors, you can play with what, what, how much saturation you want in that shot. So you can say, listen, I just want it to be subtle. Uh, vibrance you can play with that as well uh, as you can see from this look they're really playing on the whole skin tone thing so there it is let's pick another look so these are some of the looks you can get the instant looks you can get for portrait let's play with another photo let's go with something else okay I got Ada right here Ada's bend not break uh, I will send you guys to the video I did with her uh, this is a beautiful shot. Let it load, everybody. It won't be long. It'll load. Once it loads, we can have some fun. We can load and load and have some fun. Now, this isn't necessarily a portrait. This is more of sort of a ethereal type thing, mystical type of feel to it. You can most likely stay into portraits because you're going to get some nice 
feeling because portraits sort of um, prioritize female skin, skin tones, and stuff like that. But you can go back down to your drop up, click on that, and in this case, I personally would go for something like dramatic. When you press dramatic, you can go in dramatic and all the different presets will load. You can go into dramatic look right here. So if we take that, okay, you can see it's applied quite a few things, put some graininess in there. It has really hyped up the uh, dynamic range, which I just cannot stand. See, it really does a great job. It's really some cool stuff you can do. And you can also scale it down, scale it down even more. And there, that's full. And you also have certain adjustments that you can still play with, like vignette. You can put in a vignette on the adjustment you just made. You can go for the white vignette, or you can go for the black, which will really further increase that, that, um, that uh, capacity to make this very dramatic. Uh, there you go. Let's look for some more just for the fun of it. Well, this is cool. Remarkable, it's called. Remarkable. Now, when you go for uh, one of these new Luminar looks, it basically it takes off the look that you just tried and it puts on a new look starting from zero. Uh, these are Some of these blend better than others with the original photo. So it's up to you to decide. This one, Remarkable, is pretty nice when you bring it low and then you bring it high. They all seem to work and blend well. This is Mystic. Oh, it's, oh that's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Uh, again, you can play with color and landscape. You can decide on the saturation. Do you want it saturated? Do you want it uh, low? There you go. You can get some vibrance in there as well. And then pull up when you pull up your saturation. You can have some fun on that. So that is all I wanted to say in this video. Just wanted to tell you guys and give you that little piece of advice. Classification of looks. And remember, you can still adjust on a preset look. Thank you for watching, people. You gotta like, you gotta share, you gotta subscribe, and you gotta never forget, keep on making something from nothing.